Hello and welcome to the third video in the Sport Plan Animator tutorial series. My name is Charlie and I'm here to give you a general guide of how to use the Sport Plan Animator. This week we're going to be looking at the options available to a player in possession and completing our first set play. In the previous video we looked at the different ways in which you can move a player as well as how to use the media controls. If you are unsure on how to do this, make sure you go back and view that video. So let's jump straight in. Select the player you wish to give possession to and click the ball icon. This player will now have a ball connected to them and will move together across the pitch. It's possible to have multiple players having multiple balls. Let's give another player the ball and bring them across for the next example. Now that a player has the ball, you have a variety of options available. Click the location where you want the ball to move to and a second navigation wheel will appear. Let's select the pass option and press play to see our pass taking place. Different passing options are represented by different coloured lines. For this player, let's choose the grubber kick. With all these different options available, you may wish to change your mind about the style of pass. Let's delete these two lines we just made so we can create some more. Click the end of the pass you want to remove and simply click the delete button. This will remove the line whilst maintaining the player ball connection. Sometimes we want our players to lift the ball. Luckily the sport plan animator is ready for this. We can give our players the chip kick option and press play. A change in ball size indicates the ball changing height with the decreasing ball getting closer to the ground. We only need one player for the next example. To remove the ball, simply click the player of interest and select the ball icon again. The final option available to a player in possession is moving with the ball. Click the draw option, select the end point and then select carry ball. A black wavy line will appear on the screen and once we click play we can see our player move along the centre of the line. Now that we've explored the variety of options available to a player in possession and those making a run, let's start putting together our set piece. In this example, we'll have the ball pass to the right player to kick for goal. Use the draw option as demonstrated, clicking on the end of the player's movement and select the pass option. Congratulations, you have successfully completed your first pass using the sport plan animator. You can check the pass has been complete by moving either player around and the line changes size accordingly. We can also see that the initial player in possession now only has one option available to them, whereas the player receiving the ball has four. Let's keep this exercise simple and have the player kick to goal. Once again, select the draw option, click between the posts and select the high kick option. And that's it, you have successfully built a set piece. This can now be edited to change the initial positioning of the players, with the playback being unaffected. Here are a few examples of how we can edit the current routine. Every line has a variable speed which can be changed. By clicking the end of the passing line you wish to change and moving to the property box, you can change the speed by using the handy slider. Let's have the player really commit to his kick at goal. One final point for this week, and as always it's the most important. Click that save option at the top of the page so you don't lose all of your hard work. And this brings about the end of the third tutorial of the series. Keep a lookout for part 4 in which I show you how to advance your animations by looking at the secondary passing and running phases of your drills and set pieces.